Uh, hey everybody, uh, welcome. It's amazing to see so many of you here tonight. My name is Ewan Lampett. Um, I work here at AppNexus and I head up our Razzle Dazzle team and programming. One of the things we're really passionate about here at AppNexus is partnering with organizations such as CSNYC and a number of nonprofits, many of you I see in the room today, um, and really helping to give back and support the community that has been so instrumental in helping us grow uh, over the past eight years. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to hand over to Eric Olotta, who is a computer science teacher at the Academy for Software Engineering. I uh, hope you have an amazing night, and uh, great to see you. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you tonight. This event has grown over the past two and a half years into this amazing electric space, and I am just so excited to be here and to welcome you. Um, so I, my name is Eric Olotta, and I teach computer science. Woo! Woo! I, I didn't always teach computer science. I taught Algebra 2 and then grew and became a computer science teacher. I became a computer science teacher by meeting uh, Mike Zemanski and reading his blog and learning things like Emacs and how to set up a GitHub a classroom. And I learned from people like Dan Garcia and Brian Harvey that created the beauty and joy of computing. And I flew out to California and went to one of their workshops. And I learned from people all over this room and watched over the past four and a half years, um, dozens and dozens of tools and curriculums hit this space and help teachers transition from different disciplines into computer science. We're rolling this out in elementary school, middle school, high school, and we're doing this not just for a, a, a small group of kids that have opted in, but for every student. And we're looking at all of the different ways that computer science can be expressed and achieved in our classrooms. I have a couple people that I'd like to, to welcome and to introduce you to. The first person I want to introduce you to is Ma... Uh, actually, I, Kara, I'm going to bring up Maor first. I'm going to bring up Maor. Maor is the new communications director for CSNYC. You're going to be getting a lot of emails from her, and I want her to just say hello to you. Hi. Hi, guys. Community manager, officially. You've probably already received a lot of emails from me, um, so thanks for reading them. And thank you for coming tonight. Let's go back to her. And now I'd like to bring up Kara. I want you to hear a little bit about CS for All and all the great things that are happening in the city. Uh, thank you, Eric. Um, I'm Kara. I am with the New York City Department of Education, the CS for All team. I'm joined by my colleagues in the back. Can you guys wave? They're awesome. Um, so as you probably heard, um, in September, the mayor launched the CS for All initiative, which is a 10-year, $80 million public-private partnership. We are the public side of that, and our Great friends at CSNYC are the private side of that. So we are trying to figure out how over the next 10 years we can scale computer science education to all New York City students. And really the cornerstone of that is training 5,000 teachers. So we're gonna do that by offering a menu of options for professional development. Um, right now we're recruiting for elementary school teachers, middle school teachers, and high school teachers. So if you're interested in learning about our programs, guys, one more time, say hello. Find those guys. Um, and you can come and talk to me more if you're interested about volunteering or finding about um, our strategic partnerships and industry engagement. Um, and thank you guys. We cannot do this without you. Um, this entire community is so important, um, and we're hoping to take your energy and enthusiasm and increase the equity and access for all New York City students to computer science. So thanks, guys. Kara. Thank you, Kara. Um, so just, just a couple more quick announcements. We started the CSNYC education meetup uh, and started to build a space for this community so that we could do two, two things. The first is to create a networking space for teachers to feel like professionals and to connect with all of the resources that are going to help us grow in this space. So that's, that's where, where we are tonight. We're at the, the evening networking community. The second goal we had was to create a, a pedagogical space for teacher, teachers to do a deep dive into practices, curriculums, and we do that on the weekends. Uh, we, we have them more regularly at the Teach for America space uh, that's down on, on Broadway in the financial district. Our next pedagogy meetup is March 12th. I'm going to be presenting at March 12th on a curriculum that I love called EarSketch. EarSketch is you do Python programming or, or JavaScript, and you do it by creating music 
you actually get to use professional samples by Jay-Z's DJ, and you can put them together by writing Python code, and it's amazing. So please come out and learn about EarSketch and learn from some of the other presenters. That's more hands-on workshopping space. Um, that's, that's what all I want to say. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a great rest of your evening. Deborah LaCastro with Google CS First, and we're here to promote CS education with students. We're looking for volunteers to help run CS First clubs. We're looking for teachers to embrace CS First curriculum in their classrooms, and just here to meet other folks who are passionate about CS education. So we are Code Interactive. We are inspiring the next generation of diverse technology leaders. What we do is we provide computer science, curriculum and computer science teacher support and professional development to uh, high school students throughout New York City. Yeah, um, outside of the classroom, we're taking them into the tech space. So we take them to um, really cool tech offices. Uh, we plan hackathons so they can practice their entrepreneurship. And um, our top, top juniors and seniors um, have the opportunity to get placed in internships with also awesome tech companies like BuzzFeed and Business Insider. Uh, my name is Alexander Dericles. I'm the co-founder of VidCode, which is an online coding platform that teaches teenagers to code through a medium that they love. And we're here meeting educators who are looking to use JavaScript in the classroom in a very project-oriented way and also a cross-curricular way. We have a lot of science teachers, math teachers, as well as computer science teachers using VidCode. Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm the executive director of Code Ed. We are a New York-based nonprofit that um, partners with schools and after-school programs that serve middle, middle school students from low-income neighborhoods. Um, we bring in uh, trained volunteers to teach free computer science classes for girls, middle school girls. Um, the idea is to get more girls excited about computer science and wanting to pursue further study. And um, we are looking currently for both new partner schools and organizations as well as uh, new volunteers to come in and grow our programs. There are a lot of girls out there um, who need access to this sort of thing and, and we hope to give it to them. So you can visit us on the web at www.codeed.org and also sign up for our mailing list there to find out about um, volunteer opportunities. Hi, this is Nathaniel Grainer. I'm the lead program manager for the TEALS program here in New York City. We're a program that helps train high school teachers how to teach computer science through working with industry volunteers who have computer science expertise. So we are looking for schools that want to teach computer science, and we are looking for industry volunteers who can go into a classroom two mornings a week and help teach a class and help train a teacher. So if you're interested, check out tealsk12.org. Hi, my name is Danita Morgan, and I'm here with Cloud Lab over at New Visions for Public Schools. And our role and goal is to support teachers to improve on their workflow in the classroom. So what we've done is we've developed tools called add-ons that live off of Google Apps for Education. Some of our most popular add-ons are Doctopus and Gubrick. And if you go to cloudlab.newvisions.org, you can learn more about all of the add-ons that we offer that are free and available for you to use at your schools. Thank you so much. Hey, my name's Zach Rudge. Um, I work with Parks and Recreation Computer Resource Centers um, with the Rec Youth Teen Digital Media Education Program. I'm here promoting um, a few of our new programs, one Rap Research Lab and the other Media History Timeline, as well as our Sparks Program. Um, all of these are basically opportunities for young people who are interested in technology, um, to put their foot in the water and, and see what pathways might be the right pathways for them. Hi, uh, my name is Oya Kosube. I am with The Makery. Um, we are a pop-up makerspace and we provide all of different programs. So this year we have three different uh, uh, special youth programs for spring, just for girls and for summer. Our signature is we do five days and every day is a different topic. So for example, first day you're coding, 
Um, on the second day, you're building physical things. On the third day, you're designing electronics. On the fourth day, you're doing 3D modeling and printing. And on the fifth day, you're doing DIY electronics. So we just want to get you this experience of maker um, understanding. And then you can key, decide which, which is the topic that you like. And you can continue learning more. And uh, we hope that you join us. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Chrissy Ziccarelli with Girls Who Code. I'm the Deputy Director of Instruction. So Girls Who Code seeks to inspire, equip, and equip girls with the skills they need, uh, sixth grade through 12th grade with the computer science skills to pursue jobs in the tech industry after they graduate. So we are looking for volunteer instructors for our clubs program and paid opportunities for our summer immersion program teachers. Hi, my name is Nicole. I am the CEO at the Coding Space and we're an after school program to help kids learn how to code. Um, we're looking for lead teachers and also students who are passionate about learning how to code and um, become leaders in the world of technology. Hi, my name is Ankit Patel. I'm from the New York City Department of Education CS for All initiative. We are currently here recruiting for teachers that are currently in the classroom to be a part of our elementary school pilot our software engineering program serving middle and high schools, or to be part of the AP Computer Science uh, Principles uh, program that we are running in partnership with the University of California, Berkeley. Hi, my name is Rosanna, and I'm regional m manager for a curriculum called Bootstrap. Bootstrap combines computer science and algebra. So the idea is students will program a video game where every part of the game will correspond to both an algebra concept and to a computer science concept. We are looking for math and computer science teachers who are looking to integrate new ideas into their classrooms. I'm Jake Baskin with Code.org. We are a program that is focused on ensuring every student has access to computer science education. And we do that through um, engaging students and teachers with the Hour of Code as they jump off to computer science and then building to offering computer science courses within the traditional school day. So we are looking for teachers uh, and schools that are interested in offering computer science and we can provide at no cost curriculum and professional development so that teachers who may not have a CS background are able to offer computer science courses. Hello, hello. My name is Armando Somoza. I work with Urban Arts Partnership. It's New York City's largest and fastest growing arts education organization. We believe in the vision of creativity and creative process to close the achievement gap. And we have an emerging arts-based computer science space um, where we're looking for educators, we're looking for teachers, we're looking for students, a multi-tiered, multi-leveled approach, um, an opportunity for people to engage in creative project-based uh, computer science and, um, and programming uh, opportunities. Urban Arts Partnership is located off of uh, Broadway and Canal uh, at 21 Howard Street on the fifth floor in a loft there in Soho. So come by our office, come check us out. We look forward to uh, any connection or any opportunity that we can, uh, we can partner with other uh, organizations and we look forward to any opportunity. Hi, my name is Alberto. Uh, I'm the community manager at All Star Code. Um, we're a nonprofit organization that teaches um, high school students, uh, primarily from underrepresented groups in tech. Uh, we teach them uh, computer science, and we connect them with um, with opportunities uh, at tech companies. Uh, we're actually looking for current sophomores and juniors uh, to apply to our summer intensive uh, um, program. Pollock, uh, president of Games for Change, and I'm here with Sarah Cornish, and we're here to uh, present our Games for Change Student Challenge, which is a student uh, game design challenge for middle and high school students to design games around social issues. We partnered with some amazing partners uh, like Lobeloria to run game design courses in the classroom, but it's, uh, this challenge is open to all students who want to design games around social issues, like civic journalism. Uh, run a design a game around animal welfare or smart cities and we've got partners like the New York Times and the ACLU and the mayor's office providing amazing content for kids to learn about these issues and then design games about how to solve these problems. We're here looking for partners uh, who want to help uh, communicate this opportunity to students. The challenge is open through April 30th and that's up to the point where kids and teams can submit their games and participate in this great opportunity. 
My name is Lindsay Dixon. I'm the Regional Program Director at Globaloria. We teach computer science and STEM through game design and making learning engaging and fun for kids all over America. And we're looking for teachers who want to learn how to bring computer science to their class and schools that want to innovate and be next generation educators. So we hope you'll check us out at globaloria.com and be part of this movement. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a tech teacher at Tech Kids Unlimited. At Tech Kids Unlimited, we are looking for volunteers, staff, teachers, counselors, social workers. So Tech Kids Unlimited is a not-for-profit um, education institution where we work with students with learning disabilities. Hi, I'm Nikki Hills. I'm a K-12 program director with EverFi. Uh, my colleague Carrie Ellis is here with me talking with some uh, educators right now. But EverFi is an education technology company that uh, designs and builds online courses that help students learn critical life skills. And so that's everything from personal finance to entrepreneurship to math and coding and career exploration in STEM. We partner with corporations and foundations across the country who underwrite the costs of bringing our online programs to schools. So everything is 100% free of charge to educators. And we're super excited to be here at the CSNYC event tonight, meeting wonderful organizations who are doing uh, great things for students here in New York. Uh, my name is Alicia. I'm the events and volunteer lead with Back Black Girls Code New York chapter, and we service ages 7 to 17, and we're trying to reach more girls in STEM to help them be developers and instead of just being consumers of technology. Hi, my name is Jessica Santana, and I'm one of the co-founders of New York on Tech, and we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization in New York City who works with high school juniors through a year-long fellowship program where they learn the basics of front and back end web development. Hey, and my name is Evan Robinson. I'm also one of the co-founders of New York on Tech. Uh, what are we looking for? Our applications has just opened for the year, so we're currently looking for rising juniors in high schools to be part of our TechFlex Leaders Program. So if you're a junior, if you're a rising junior out there interested in learning more about technology, being paired with a mentor in the industry, go to www.newyorkontech.org. We're always looking for professional mentors to help work out with our students. So if you're a mentor out there, same thing, www.newyorkontech.org. And we're always looking to partner up with uh, leading corporate organizations, which allow us to make successfully run our program. So follow us, um, learn more about New York on Tech, and drop us a note. See you soon. Hi, my name is Yvonne de la Peña, and I'm with Code Now. We're a nonprofit organization that introduces high school students to programming. So if you're a high school student and you're curious about programming, definitely come check us out. Our next workshop uh, will take place on a in April. Uh, the application closes on March 16. Uh, the workshops take place over week, the weekend, so three days in the weekend. So we're definitely looking for students to apply. We're also looking for professional engineers to come and volunteer to work with our students. Thanks. Hi, we're, we're Codesters. We're an educational Python programming platform bringing coding to schools. Um, we're looking for teachers. Uh, in middle school who want to teach coding to their kids and um, we make it simple and easy with a block-based programming uh, toolkit and we have a learning management system that helps teachers to manage their classroom um, and to keep track of what their students are doing. Hi, I'm Tess Gardafi and Lily Pichardo. Um, and we work at the Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship, which is a nonprofit organization um, that helps high school students and middle school students get involved in entrepreneurship and coding. Um, and we're offering a new class called Startup Tech. So we're looking for schools to uh, partner with to offer this class for their students to learn um, not only coding skills, but also entrepreneurship and business skills. So if you're interested, you can check us out at nifty.com. Um, and we're looking forward to partnering with a bunch more schools uh, for this next year. And we also have some wonderful summer programs to check out as well. My name is Ben Stone, and I'm here with the Coalition for Queens team. C4Q is an organization that's focused on increasing the diversity and inclusiveness in tech in New York City. 
We have a variety of programs. Our main program is called Access Code, a nine-month intensive program for adults from underrepresented or underserved communities. Our cohort reflects the diversity of New York City, 50% female, 60% black or Hispanic, and 50% without full-time college degrees. We're here today looking for people interested in hiring our amazing grads, helping out with volunteer opportunities, or interested in being a full-time instructor or working on staff at Coalition for Queens. Hi everybody, I'm Danny Fenves from Upper Line Code. Uh, we teach high school students to code over the summer. We run two week long summer coding camps and we run teacher training programs for computer science teachers. We teach, um, we teach full stack development using Ruby, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We also have a, a mobile development course using Swift, building iOS applications. So if you're interested in learning to code as a teacher, learning to teach code, and or you're a student who wants to learn more this summer, uh, check, out, ch check us out at UpperLineCode.com. How y'all doing? My name is Jeffrey Haddon, and I'm here reporting from Pascola's headquarters here. We are a nonprofit organization that offers free, intensive IT tension training in the South Bronx. We offer courses in IT support, network administration, and software testing. Everything we offer is completely free. That's the books, the tuition, the tools, the exam fees. We offer courses every six weeks. And one, I want to emphasize they are completely free. We're in the South Bronx. Please come to us any day, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. for an information session. We'd love to see you there. Thank you so much. Hi there, my name is Malia Kodis. I am a Helen Fellow at the American Museum of Natural History with the program Bridge Up STEM. We're an after school program and summer intensive program for high school girls, um, ninth and 10th grade. And we're here at the CSNYC meetup looking for teachers and other educators who might have some um, students with potential to really enjoy our program. Hi, my name is Bruce Lincoln. I'm the co-founder of Silicon Harlem. And we have a program here called the Apps Youth Leadership Academy. It's focused on high school students and it's a way that they learn how to build technology startups. The summer program takes place at City College from July to August. And during the summer, students learn how to build in teams a technology startup. And what we're starting beginning in March is an after school program called the Tech Startup Accelerator where we take our Apps Youth Leadership Academy curriculum, condense it into 10 to 12 workshops, working with 10 students and two teachers. And once again, the end product is a tech startup. The application is through Youth Career Connects, which is a part of the Department of Education's post-secondary readiness program. And so that application becomes available in the May-June time frame. And then the year-long program is actually tied into the 10 target schools that they support. Hi, I'm Michael Temple. I'm president of Logo Foundation. We're a nonprofit organization that provides educational services and information about creative computing environments like Logo, Scratch, and many others. We do professional development. We have our Logo Summer Institute coming up. This is an intensive workshop we do every summer, and we've expanded now. We have three locations in summer 2016. We also do a lot of shorter workshops. We sponsor scratch days. Primarily the audience is teachers, but uh, we welcome people from the general public, students, adults, everyone. Hello, I'm Norm Suteri. I'm the director of programs for New York City First. We are a program that has hands-on, project-based competitions that help to develop the next generation of science and technology leaders through robotics competitions. And in terms of what we're looking for, we're looking for volunteers. That's probably the number one need at this very moment. Uh, we look for volunteers, professionals in the community who could donate a few hours or an entire day um, to helping develop the next generation of science and technology leaders. We focus on Python because we believe that coding will be the future of the, I don't know, <laughs> we need to do this again.